Hello, class. Welcome to my studio. I was hoping maybe sometime we might come visit during the semester, but that's okay. This is my studio. This is where I work when I'm not in class with you. So it's in Mount Pleasant and uh, my son Noah is working the camera and he is going to show you, uh, he's just gonna film us while we do this demo and look at some of the paintings. All right. We'll just walk around and look at some of the paintings in the studio. As you can see, I do cloth quite a bit and some portraits and some figures and some old landscapes and things that I have around. This is, uh, remember I brought my sketchbooks to the class. Here are all my sketchbooks for the last 20 or so years, dating back to college days. And it's always good to have a sketchbook to get your ideas down. And well, let's talk about our next assignment. Our next assignment is using charcoal. So you'll find in your kit some pencils that look like this. And they say right on them, General's charcoal. And charcoal is another form of carbon, just like graphite, but graphite it, molecules are arranged so that they're very slippery and slick. This is also carbon, it's just the molecules are arranged differently. So you'll notice a real different feel with these. They're, it, it feels uh, more powdery and gritty, uh, kind of chalky. And some of you might not like that at first, but you'll grow accustomed to it. And uh, some people end up really loving this. You'll notice with these charcoal pencils that they say on them, similar to graphite pencils. This one says HB hard. Two B medium. This one says four B, four B soft, and six B extra soft. So they're rated in a very similar way to our graphite pencils. Two B, H B being the hardest. Two B, four B, six B being the softest. And speaking of softest, if you drop these things, especially on a hard floor, that gra that carbon that uh, charcoal will break every so often inside the, the pencil. You use generally a, a sharpener like this to sharpen them, but what just happened is it broke off. Maybe this got dropped once. So you can try to sharpen the pencil with a normal sharpener, but if that charcoal keeps breaking off inside there and you just can't seem to get it, Get it sharp, see it just broke again. So what you might need to do, see that it broke again on these, is take an X-Acto knife or some kind of utility knife and sharpen it with, with the knife. And, the, and sometimes you can, even if it's broken inside, you can get it to sharpen this way with the knife and then you can continue using them instead of just oh it broke again even with even with a, a knife so that's the challenge they're they're softer and they break a little easier okay let's look at some a few examples you'll see that in this example one of those teapots we have in class you, you go about using these the same way you would with the graphite pencils. Start with your holding it with a very light touch like we've talked about and making arm motions rather than gripping it here and pressing to go dark. So you can do a contour and you can use the same kneaded eraser to erase what you don't like but we build up our darks the same way. We, we just hold a, have a light touch on the pencil and we just build up those lights and those darks one layer at a time. If we need to go darker, 
We don't start pressing hard, but we just keep it light. Try and keep your, your stroke. If you're going to do cross hatch, do cross hatch everywhere. If you're going to go one directional, keep it one direction over the whole drawing. That will keep it unified. So here are a few examples of charcoal drawings I've done as class demonstrations. So a uh, glass bottle, some eggs, a couple glass bottles. You see my value scale up here in this one. I was consistently moving my pencil in this direction. Keep it harmonious and unified. A gourd from our classroom. One of our favorites, the pelvic bone of a cow. And a pumpkin. Done last fall, probably at Halloween time. All right. There's the paper bag that I have a post to in canvas. That the only other thing to talk about today really is to just set a few simple objects up like we've done before. If you can get a nice and strong light source on it so that you create the different elements of light, the highlight, the core shadow, the reflected light, and cast shadows if you can set it up, something like that. And uh, practice that for Tuesday and Thursday. Practice with your charcoal, and then we'll uh, talk about it, and uh, that will be the assignment for the weekend. All right, take care of yourselves, and happy drawing.